Today I'm going to be teaching you about angles for the 7th grade standard. Before I teach you anything about angles, I'll define some vocabulary. So, adjacent angles are angles that share a vertex and one side, but they don't overlap. And this is just a picture to show you what an adjacent angle is. So here are two angles and they share one side. Congruent angles are angles that um, have the same measure. <clears throat> so usually it's two angles. So here, um, we have an angle that is a right angle, and there are two angles that are 45 degrees, and they're congruent angles because they have the same measure. They both equal, they both have a measure of 45 degrees. So vertical angles are two angles formed by intersecting lines. And vertical angles are um, always congruent or equal. Complementary angles are two angles that equal to 90 degrees. So they don't have to be congruent. Um, they can be any measure. So the angle ABD is 60 degrees and DBC is 30 degrees. So they equal to 90 degrees. That's why they are complementary. And they also are adjacent. So you can see clearly that they are 90 degrees because ABC is, you can see that square means it's a right angle. Then there is supplementary angles. And it's basically two angles that equal to 180 degrees. So, also, they don't have to be congruent. Um, so here, one angle is 110 degrees, the other is 70 degrees. So, 100 plus 110 plus 70 is 180. So, that's why they are supplementary. <clears throat> so, now that we define all the terms, I'm actually going to show you how to solve a couple of angle puzzles. These are what you're actually going to be solving. So here, um, these are our vertical angles. Um, so the first step is to see if the angles are complementary, supplementary, or vertical because each one of those are solved differently. So these angles are vertical. So when you have a vertical angle, um, they're both, the both angles are equal. So you just make an equation like this. 6x plus 3 equals 63. then we obviously solve the equation. So when we solve it, it equals to 10. So x is 10. This next puzzle I'm going to show you is a little bit more complicated, and <clears throat> it includes both supplementary and vertical angles. So what we need to do is solve all the unknown angles. The first step is to find all the angles that are vertical and fill those out. So um, find all the angles that are easy to find out and then you can like solve um, by just looking at them. So they're basically just angles that are away from the angles that you already know. So if you know what I mean. The second step is to solve all the supplementary angles. Um, these are going to be a little more complicated. So how to solve supplementary or I mean, supplementary angle is to um, subtract the angle um, that you know from 180, and that equals to the angle that you don't know. To solve complementary angles, you just do the same thing, but you subtract the angle that you already know from 90 degrees, because a right angle is 90 degrees. Um, the third step is to solve the rest 
um, of the angles, which are probably going to be vertical angles. So basically, these are going to be pretty easy. You just take the angles you already know, and the vertical angles are just going to be the angles that you already know. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you with math, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.